Hey there, this is Marty with Digital Design Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, work with Pantone numbers in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I'm just going to make it a rectangle here. I'm going to pull this up. Window. Then we're going to go to Swatch Libraries, Color Books, and let's go down to the Pantone books here. Um, we're going to use Solid Coded. That's pretty much the most popular one. You, the Pantone numbers typically end with a C. You know, it's coded. Uh, or, you know, printed on something glossy. Uh, uncoded is pretty much it's the same, but except it's a that'll be a, a another swatch book but that's what you'd use for like a t-shirt or something like that it's just not glossy but colors are kind of the same on the screen um, okay let's go ahead and sort this right now we're in a, a small thumbnail view kind of brutal to look at so this large list view and let's pick a different one here okay now we can see this uh, we go if we, we open our color uh, palette show options it's going to show that we have selected that and then we can go down here and get the pink one and uh, let's say you know, that's it if, if that's what you need to send like a silk screener or something like that uh, you can select them in here and they will be very appreciative that you've actually given them the correct pantone uh, in illustrator now let's say you need to get the cmyk value or the rgb value of a pantone Pretty easy. See that? Boom. You can go up here. Uh, same thing. Just pull this down to CMYK or RGB. Whatever you need to get. And that can be really helpful as well. Especially if, uh, I don't know, you need to do this in a, in, a, in a method that you can't use the Pantone number. Uh, CMYK and RGB equivalents can be very helpful. And another guy here. I'll show you some different ones. There are... Uh, you know, like I say, metallic coated. That's good. A bunch of them. And keep in mind that, you know, they don't look like uh, necessarily metallic on the screen because these are silk screen. You know, you know, any type, they can be used in many methods, but a common application would be silk screen. If you saw the real ink in real life, this Pantone right here in particular, you know, would be, have a metallic finish to it. Uh, just not going to be represented on the screen so that's something to keep in mind when you are working with pantones but uh other than that that's how you do it just keep in mind that there's uh many different books and if you are going to be doing something with silk screening or uh you know, choosing fabric colors something like that make sure that the the person you're working with will have access to the books that you're using that's important uh, other than that, I hope this helps, and uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with uh, other videos that come out. Thanks a lot.